So I've had a few people ask how they can incorporate my Hack G2 CE loaded builds. Um, basically, I think what they want is the games and the scrape descriptions and the spine work and the box art and so on and so forth, and how they can incorporate that into their personal Hack G release. So maybe you've got a Hack G build that you've been working on and you're like, I don't want to mess it up, but I do want to add some of those games. This video is going to show you how, nice and easy. Stay tuned. Welcome here to the hat. So before we get into this tutorial, I just want to make sure that everyone does a backup of your hack G release. If you're adding this to the build you've been working on, you want to make sure that you back it up. So take wherever your hack G install is, right click, copy, paste. There we go. What I like to do is change the name to backup. And put that somewhere safe. And the reason why I mention this is what I'm about to show you is not going to mess with your hack G build whatsoever. It's just for preference. Some people may choose to overwrite their games with mine and then change their mind later down the road. This way you have a backup so that if you do change your mind, you can go ahead and use your originals. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to add my loaded hack G packs to your hack G build. So if you don't want to use my loaded build, but you want the games and all the artwork and all the scraped stuff done for you, um, you can add it to your own hack G build so that you don't have to mess with what you already have. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. This is a brand new installation of Hackchi, but I just wanted to show you guys what's inside. So we just have our original games, no matter what we do. NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, it's just original games, that's all we have. So what I'll do is close it out, and I'm going to pull it over to the side. So if this was your Hackchi build, you would want it off to the side. And let's say we were going to take the games from Hack G Loaded for the NES, SNES, and Sega Genesis games. So we would go into Hack G Loaded, go into Games, and we can highlight everything just like so. So Control A. You can cut or copy. I'm going to copy. And we're just going to paste it into our Games folder. Now if you already have games in your games folder and it's going to ask you to overwrite anything, that's completely up to you. Um, if you want to overwrite with my games or keep yours as they are, that's totally up to the user. That's something that's personal preference. But what this is going to do is just add a ton of games for our Hackchi build. So I'll come right back once this is done copying over. Okay, so we're just about done. There we go. So now we've copied over from HackG loaded to your HackG build. So now we'll launch up HackG. It's going to take a little bit longer this time because we added a bunch of games. shouldn't take too long but th there's quite a few files there I, I want to say there was like 21,000 files or or something crazy like that so but here we go so here is our original games and then we get into custom games so everything's kind of mixed here there's Super Nintendo what I'll do is go to view and sort by console so there's our original games again. So here is Turbo Graphics. We've got everything here. And you can see the information. Um, I have mine set to Medne KM Mednafen PCE Fast for my Turbo Graphics games. 
box art's all there. And then if we go down, here is our Nintendo, same thing. And we'll just make sure that everything is good to go. I will quick scroll. Here is Super Nintendo, looking all good. And Sega Genesis, spines and all. So that's how you copy any of my HackG releases to your HackG build without disturbing any of your settings or anything like that. You're just getting the games, uh, the scrape descriptions, as well as the artwork that are included in my HackG loaded builds. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.